Hello again, and welcome to our Lenten devotionals for the year 2020. And uh, we are coming to the end of Holy Week. This lesson is for April 14th, Monday, Thursday. And uh, I'll be reading from Psalm 41, reading the entire Psalm, Psalm 41. And uh, this Psalm is quoted by Jesus on that Thursday night at the dinner, according to the Gospel of John. And so uh, that's why I have chosen this psalm for today. And I believe when you hear it, you will uh, realize what Jesus was talking about when he quoted it. And we will look also uh, at the passage in John so that the, we can have that in context as well. So Psalm 41. Happy are those who consider the poor. The Lord delivers them in the day of trouble. The Lord protects them and keeps them alive. They are called happy in the land. You do not give them up to the will of their enemies. The Lord sustains them on their sickbed. In their illness, you heal all their infirmities. As for me, I said, O oh Lord, be gracious to me. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies wonder in malice when I will die and my name perish. And when they, go, when they come to see me, they utter empty words while their hearts gather mischief. When they go out, they tell it abroad. All who hate me whisper together about me. They imagine the worst for me. They think that a deadly thing has fastened on me, that I will not rise again from where I lie. Even my bosom friend in whom I trusted, who ate of my bread, has lifted the heel against me. But you, O oh Lord, be gracious to me and raise me up, that I may repay them. By this, I know you are pleased with me, because my enemy has not triumphed over me. But you have upheld me because of my integrity and set me in your presence forever. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Amen and amen. The psalm begins as a description of those who consider the poor. And here the poor, as, as it goes on the rest of the psalm, we realize that he's talking about himself in a poor state. Here the poor is anyone who is in a poor state. And those are blessed who consider them. And I think that's a good lesson for us, not just to donate to the poor, not just to give of um, our excess to the poor, but to consider the poor, to see them for who they are and to see those who are suffering and to turn our gaze and our thoughts toward them. Happy are those who consider the poor. The Lord protects them and keeps them alive. And now he, he says, the Lord sustains them on their sickbed in their illness. God heals them. And then verse four really begins a lament. Uh, so with the first part talks about being those who consider the poor, poor being blessed and happy. And then we begin a lament um, about the psalmist himself uh, who is on the sick bed and asks God for healing for I have sinned against you healing against the infirmities that come perhaps from sinfulness. And then talks about enemies, those enemies who are, who are glad to see him suffering and who are just sort of waiting for him to die and who come maliciously to visit him and say empty words of comfort and then go out and say, oh yeah, he's really in a bad state and we don't think he's gonna last very long. These, these so-called, it doesn't say they're his friends, even so-called friends, his enemies who are just waiting for him to die, waiting for the other shoe to drop. And they whisper together about him and imagine the worst. And they, and they think that he's going to die. They're not going to have to do anything about it because this deadly thing has fastened onto him and so that he will not rise again from where he is. And then verse nine, which is the verse in question today for Psalm, for Monday Thursday, even my bosom friend in whom I trusted, who ate of my bread, has lifted the heel against me, lifted the heel 
people as though he were a bug to be squashed by the heel of his friends. Jesus quotes this in John 13, 18. We'll, we'll hear this scripture tonight, uh, not, maybe not all of it, during the, the foot washing uh, scene of Maundy Thursday. You remember in the Gospel of John, Jesus stooped to wash his disciples' feet and said that they also ought to wash one another's feet and to serve. And then he says, though, but not everybody, but there's going to be someone here who will betray me. And this is done to fulfill the scripture. And this is the scripture that it is fulfilling. The one who ate of my bread has lifted the heel against me from Psalm 41. And then, of course, the disciples all begin to wonder who it is. And uh, then Jesus says, it's the one who will take this bread when I've dipped this bread. And he dips the bread and he gives it to, G to Judas. And John says in, that immediately when he took the bread, Satan entered into Judas. And then Jesus told him to do what he was going to do quickly. And he went out from there immediately. And so Jesus says this scripture was going to be fulfilled. That his bosom friend, somebody who had been with him all along through his ministry, someone who had been entrusted with the treasury. And so the disciples thought maybe he went out to do some kind of treasury work. Um, someone who has been a trusted friend has betrayed him. I don't know if you've ever been betrayed. Uh, what, I, I don't know that I think of a time in my life where I felt like somebody really turned against me. But we know that it happens. It happens to people all the time who are betrayed by those they thought they could trust. And it is a terrible, terrible thing to happen. And so Jesus, on Monday Thursday, quoted this psalm, Psalm 41, about the psalmist near death, lying on his sickbed, being beset by enemies and betrayed even by his closest friend. And so Jesus was remembering this psalm on Monday, Thursday, as he was betrayed by his friend. And we follow this psalm as we consider those who are sick and poor and as even the psalmist, even following this, says, blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. Blessed who be the one who has upheld me because of my integrity. And indeed, upheld Jesus because of his integrity. The God of Israel from everlasting to everlasting. Amen and amen. Let's pray together. Lord, we thank you that you see those who are downtrodden and those who are sick and those who are poor, and that you exhort us to consider all of these whom you love. And for, Lord, we pray that you will be with us even when we are betrayed, and that you will help us not to be those who betray others. And we thank you that Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took his bread and broke it and gave it to his disciples and that we may participate in that supper in remembrance. We thank you, Lord, on this Monday Thursday. Amen. Thank you for being with me on this Monday Thursday for our Latin devotional.